Oh, now that I'm done unboxing my air drone, I will do a quick unboxing of the Hawking Technology Wireless 300N router. It's called listed as a high gain router. Um, you'll, <clears throat> I'm guessing I'm at least going to triple the range from this unit. Basically, uh, uh, of this, because basically the Parrot acts as a uh, a router, and you're connecting it to your iPhone or your Android phone wirelessly. So instead of it connecting to your iPhone or your Android device, it's basically going to be linking up with uh, the repeater. The repeater basically retransmits the signal. So this is going to give me a much stronger signal than it will otherwise. So I'll be able to fl fly higher and further with my unit. So um, anyway, here's the unboxing. Now let's first look at the standards. Supports 2.4 gigahertz BGN. Uh, doesn't support 5 gigahertz. Not really a big deal. I don't think that this unit supports 5 gigahertz anyway. My parrot, which is what I'm getting it for. Quick look at the back of the box. Here's a little bit of information on how this works. It allows more data to flow at once in and out of the router. This results in faster wireless connection, up to 300 megabits and more wireless range. Uh, the model number is uh, HWREN1. And also, you can upgrade the antennas on this unit for even greater range. It's one of the advantages of having a unit that has external antennas as opposed to internal. Because you're kind of stuck with what you have with internal devices. External, the sky's a limit. I mean, you could go nuts with antenna upgrades and dramatically boost your signal. WREN1 range extender. Insulation instructions for Windows users. So I've used uh, routers, I've used wireless bridges. This is my first range extender or repeater. Range extenders and repeaters are the same thing. But basically, the idea is that once you plug in your uh, device, you uh, search the network for the device you want to range extend. Once you do that, then it saves it in the memory, and you're good to go. That's all you have to do from that point, pretty much. And uh, these are very good for um, like dead spots, let's say, if you have a wireless network in your house and you have dead spots. So how you would use one of these devices is you would put the device in a room where there's still west signal but that is, is but that is near the area where you were getting the dead spot and now it's going to basically rebroadcast the wireless signal from your main router and it will give you for the range and cover give you coverage where you were having no coverage at all in that dead spot. So anyway What else you got? Uh, additional setup instructions. Here's your CD. You can always go directly to the router's page. Here's the device itself. Uh, dual antenna. It's 
fairly small. My hand's bigger than it. And it also has, as you can see, a single 10100 port in the back. So you could put, you could also use this as a combination um, range extender and bridge. Because if you did plug this into a computer, I think that it would give that computer internet access. So it kind of acts, gives you a dual function there, which is nice. Here's your power adapter. Difficult doing all these things one-handed. Maybe I'll get around to getting a regular HD cam, do a tripod setup. That's your power adapter. Um, includes a network cable, single network cable, and um, two antennas. Let's see how they connect. And some screws if you want, want to mount it to something. And that's pretty much everything that's in the box. Let me show you how these attach. It's very simple. And you could pretty much use any upgrade antenna. You just have to get a connector for that. And you can usually get adapters for upgrade antennas that don't have that same size plug. So let's do some there. And the way I intend to use this outside, let's say if I choose to go to a park and use my parrot in the park, um, is basically get a small up supply and plug it into that. Small up supply will give me more than enough runtime. I'm not going to be running my parrot for more than like 25 minutes anyway between the two batteries that I have for it and then, simple as this there you go uh, <clears throat>